welcome to the King's Sports Show. I'm here with Liam Jackson today to give you all the latest news about sports at King's College. Uh, what was the highlight? Well, October the 5th saw the return of our annual KCLA Games. It saw our patron, Catherine Granger, turn up to open the event. And it also saw more participants and more supporters than ever before, as well as more teams ranging from both Kings and GKT sides. Our alumni won 12-5 overall in the day, making it the first time they've won in the past three years. Thanks, Liam. Uh, we'll go back to the alumni games later with some exclusive Kings TV interviews. Uh, but now let's take a look at the best results of our sports clubs this month. Our five focus sports this year that have been redeveloped and refunded through a partnership both with Kings Sports and Case LSU contain volleyball, badminton, table tennis, rugby and rowing. Our women's volleyball off to a great start with four wins out of four, top of the books league and really carrying on from a great year last year where they were entered into the European Championships. Unbeaten as well are the rugby first team. The best result out of the four of four wins they've made so far is the away win to LSE, total of 42 to 5. Uh, really a great result. Um, Heading over to Guy's campus and our medical teams, our GKT men's hockey are currently also unbeaten in their Bucks league. The GKT men's rugby are having a great start to the season, unfortunately lost on Wednesday again against LSE. Moving on to men's hockey at Kings. Uh, the best result was surely the 7-6 win against Imperial College. Kings was 6-4 down, 6 minutes to the end, but a great performance of Captain Hugh Bushell with 5 goals in total made the difference and won the game for Kings. On to our KCLFC 1s, captained by Danny Guller. We were able to draw 2-2 again against LSE, which seems to be cropping up with a great comeback from 2-0 down at halftime. Now a special mention for a charity football tournament in which KCLFC participated under the presidency of Joshua Jeffries. Charity has become a priority for the club. The boys participated in a test run for what is hopefully going to become an annual event in aid of the global football charity Lions Row. So that's great news from the football club, but now as promised, we're going back to KCLA games for Kings TV exclusive interviews from the day by Julia Steen. Good afternoon, we're here in Berryland to witness the KCL Alumni Day where people have come from all over the country to play sports. So these are the KCLA Games, which is really a contest between alumni and students, and this gets bigger every year. So we've got something well over 400 sportsmen and women here. And obviously a lot of KCLA events, by their nature really, a lot of older and more senior members attend, but this really is essentially for younger alumni who are obviously competing in sports events against students. <laughs> Catherine is patron of the game. Catherine obviously is a member now of KCLA, yeah. having finished her PhD this year. And she came to the Games last year with a gold medal and she came to open the Games this afternoon. For me, sport and, and kind of all the academic side go hand in hand. They really have helped me doing both and I, I love combining them both. And I'm so proud of, of obviously the Olympic success but getting my PhD just as much. Every year it gets bigger and better and every year we get a better representation from right across the college including the Guys campus, the Strand campus, Waterloo, etc. We've got some people who've come back from 2006 as well so um, you know we've got some new old girls, we've got some older old girls but you know, we're going to have fun, but we do want to win as well. So. And this is a great event for King's College London, for the alumni, for the students, and for our increasing involvement in sport. I went to university thinking I was going to just do a law degree and left as an Olympic rower. So, you know, I've got to warn these kids, anything could happen. So it's also a way of reminding students that when they finish their time <laughs> at King's, that's not the end of their yeah. relationship with King's. Might get a job. What's that, five, six pints? We'll call it that to pretend I'm healthy, yeah. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, oh, but, oh, well, we've got ourselves a winner, well done. <laughs> Everybody, well, I'm just for me. So in the name of Jim's 50 year anniversary since leaving Kings, he's going to down the drink. Three, two, one. Good boy, Jim. Oh, done like a champ. Something to look forward to this year is the return of Varsity. Leon, tell us more about it. Yeah, our Varsity this year will be bigger and better than ever. Our Varsity will be running over a week long of events from the 7th to the 14th of March and with seven sports out of a total of over 10 applications. 
Our varsity this year will see hockey, rugby, water polo, fencing, Mai Tai, Taekwondo and netball. It's going to be great, more information will be coming soon, keep informed. It's been great to be on the show today and really looking forward to seeing the sports develop and so hopefully with some great success this year. Thank you very much for coming Liam. Thanks for watching the King Sports Show. And I then I turn the pages, fighting with automatic self-destruction.